Hey! Velkomna! And we're here with Walter's World and we're celebrating Midsummers, or as they like to say in Sweden, Midsommar! Which is the biggest festival in the country, well not the biggest festival, but the most important for the fun time in Sweden. Okay, and there's lots of things that go on. Now, first off, what you're going to see a lot of times is during the week, the weekend between the 19th and 26th of June, okay, you're going to see all kinds of these things. They're called Midsummer's Pole, okay? Now, you have a, kind of a cross with these two uh, circle thingies on them. Now, actually what's funny is this is a fertility thing from back in pagan times, so they say, and basically what it is is to make the land fertile for a great harvest. Okay, so we're all celebrating this. Also, it's the longest day of the year, so we're celebrating lots of things at the same time. Now, in the past, it was always on the 23rd and 24th of June. Now, hey, you know, we all have to work, stuff like that, so we only get one day off, so they make it a Friday. So, the Friday and Saturday between the 19th and 26th of June is when they celebrate it. So, today is actually the 20th of June, it's a, su it's a Saturday, so this is one of the Midsummer's Days, so that's why we're doing this whole Walter's World Learning Swedish thing. So I got my friend Sebastian here, who is Swedish, and we're enjoying some time. And I lived with a Swedish family when I was in Finland, big said, miss you guys, hope you're doing well. Now, uh, when you look at this stuff, is uh, when you make this, this many pull is the main thing. And what happens is you see, you'll see people, and they're running around this, they run around it, and they sing songs, do all kinds of things. Now. It's funny because literally all the Swedish people I've seen, they know the songs, he knows the song, but his voice, really, honestly, will be put on the, like, band list, okay? Now, um, within this, you're going to see that people, they don't, you don't celebrate this in Stockholm. So if you're in Stockholm during midsummer, get out, go to Uppsala, go to wherever, I don't know, go anywhere. Any countryside place. Any countryside you place. You meet, you meet, use those other videos about learning Swedish, you meet some people, they'll take you out there, okay? Because it's, it's a harvest festival, okay? So you go out there, they have all kinds of stuff. And what's funny is, you know, you sit there and you drink and you eat and do all kinds of stuff. You drink lots of schnapps and you sing a song for every single schnapp. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to put some links, if you look down below, below, in the comment section. Now, I don't know how many people will comment later, but go to the bottom and we're going to put some links on YouTube to some really typical songs and things like that uh, for Midsummers. Because really it is coolest festival. For me, it's the cool, oh, there's the, the, the baseball thing in Umeå. That's a good one as well. Yeah, what's it called? Brembo's Gyra. I'll put a couple of links on that as well. Yeah, that's like a You'll baseball. learn about that later. Yeah, that's another thing. That's, I'll have to go on location for that one. Now, the thing is, is usually, I mean, it's a Friday and Saturday festival. Friday night is a really big festivity. So we have our pole, we dance around, and we drink lots, and we eat lots. You with your buddies and have a good time, and stuff like that. Saturday, it's a little bit more calm. Like, it's not, you know, you sit with grandma and everything, but it's kind of like that in a way, okay? Now, what you do is, the thing is, is we're, again, we're celebrating lines in the harvest, so you go and you pick flowers and make things. And these, these crowns that we're wearing, this is really typical. Like, you see people wearing these. We're not making it up. This it's is not a joke. It's not a joke. People actually walk around like this. People walk around like and you don't get made fun of. It's a normal thing. Now, you see we have all these flowers. We only have a couple of flowers because my garden only has a few. Now, what you want to do, if you want to know who you're going to marry, the myth is, you pick seven different flowers, you put them underneath your pillow, and you will dream of the person you're going to marry. Now, Jocelyn, uh, I dream of you anyway, so I'm okay. Now, Sebastian, da 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 we won't think, but you never know. All right, put in a room. So, pick seven flowers tonight, guys. You might dream of them, because midsummers, technically they say is that's when the spirits and the land is more open to interpretation. So that's when it comes through. Um, also, you know, you're going to see a lot more flowers and festival kind of things, but not in the city, not in the homes. It's wherever people celebrate. So you might be at someone's house and it looks like, wait, we're going to have a party here tonight? Go to their backyard where they have the, it's, it's a maypole, basically. It's a maypole, but in Sweden it's too cold in May. So June is when they celebrate it. So when they have their maypole, that's where you're going to see all the stuff out there. People have tables laid out to be flowers every all kinds of stuff. Now, again, it is a fertility festival from back in the pagan times. And just one little last thing I want to know. Sweden has a higher birth rate in March, which is nine months after June. I'm not saying anything, but my friend here, Sebastian, when's your birthday? 17th of March. 17th of March. 
Mm. Makes you wonder, okay, guys? So, enjoy midsummer. It's a great time. You're going to drink. You're going to run around the, the, the pool. La, 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 la. You're flirty, flirty, like the Swedish chef says. You have a great time. So, if you're in Sweden between the 19th and 26th of June, this is one thing you got to do. It's a great time. We love it. You love it. Have a great time. Don't miss it. Bye.